Hello everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me in the classroom today. For today's lesson, I'd like to look at expressions with the word look. Most of these expressions are two or three word verbs. I've selected the nine most common expressions using the word look. So let's start with the first one here. It says to look over. And the definition I've got is to examine or inspect. Okay, so for example, if I was going to sign a contract, before I sign the contract, I would look over the contract. So in other words, examine the contract. Also, if I was going to buy a house or rent an apartment, I would look over the house before I bought it, or I would look over the apartment before I rented it. And again, this means inspect. I would inspect the apartment or inspect the house. So look over. Next one, look up to. We can see the, the definition to admire someone. For example, young kids usually look up to their parents or their teachers or their coaches. A lot of people, especially young people, look up to musicians or athletes or actors. So if you look up to somebody, that means you like what they do. You admire that person. So that is look up to. Okay, next one, look forward to, to eagerly await or anticipate. So if you look forward to, to something, you can't wait for it to happen. I'm looking forward to Christmas or I'm looking forward to my next vacation. Okay, also we use this in the negative. So for example, you do not look forward to something. For example, I'm not looking forward to my math exam or I'm not looking forward to the big test. So we use this equally in the positive and the negative. Okay, next one, look into, to inquire or investigate. Okay, this is different than look over. Remember, look over is to examine or inspect something. Here, we are going to investigate. So for example, if there was a crime, for instance, a murder, the police would look into this crime or would look into this murder, okay? If at your school somebody was cheating on an exam, the teacher would look into this matter. So again, the teacher or the police would investigate in this situation. So that is look into. Okay, another one, look for. It says here, try to find something. Okay, if it's my girlfriend's birthday, I will look for a birthday gift for her. I will go to the shopping mall and look for a gift. So to look for something just means to try to find something, okay? Look for a new gift. Look for a new place to live, okay? Look after, to take care of, okay? So for example, parents must look after their children. Or if you have a pet, you look after your pet, right? You look after your dog. This means you feed it, you give it water, you take it outside for a walk. This is looking after your pet, okay? Next one, look up to search for something. For example, it says in a dictionary, okay? So if I wanna know the definition of a word, I will look it up in the dictionary. So often we put that the noun in the middle to look something up, right? I might look something up in the dictionary, on the internet, in an encyclopedia. So I will look it up. I will search for it. Okay, two more to go. Next one, look down on. It says in our definition to view someone as less than yourself. Okay, this is a negative expression. If I look down on you, it means I have a negative view of you. Maybe I think you are not important. I think you are not very smart. For example, if a boss 
looks down on her employee, it means she does not treat this employee with respect. She does not have a high opinion of this person. Okay, and last one, look out to be careful or watchful. Okay, usually we look out for danger. If I was driving a car and my friend says, look out, he or she is warning me of danger. Perhaps a person is in front of my car or an animal like a dog is running in front of my car. So my friend says, look out, be careful, watch out. Okay, I wanna see if I can write some examples for all of these expressions. So I'm gonna erase the whiteboard and then we'll see if we can take a look. Okay, so let's see if we can take a look at a few examples with each of the expressions. Okay, I've written them down here on the whiteboard. So the first one, Please look over the contract before you sign it. Okay, as I mentioned before, look over means to examine the contract or to look at the contract more closely. So please look at the contract more closely before you sign it. Look over the contract. Okay, next one. Many young musicians looked up to Michael Jackson. Okay, as I mentioned, to look up to means to admire or to have respect for. Okay, next one. Every year I look forward to Halloween. Okay, so if Halloween is my favorite holiday, this means I can't wait for Halloween. So every year I can't wait for Halloween. I look forward to Halloween. Okay, next one. The police are looking into the crime. Okay, as I mentioned, looking into means to investigate. So the police are investigating the crime. They are looking into the crime. Next one, she is looking for a new car. Okay, remember to look for means to search for or to try to find. So she is trying to find a new car because she wants to buy a new car. So she's looking for a new car. Okay, I hate looking after my younger brother. Okay, probably many people feel the same way. If you are the older brother or the older sister, then usually you have to take care of your younger brother or sister. So I hate looking after, right, taking care of my younger brother. Okay, next one. He always looks up new words on the internet. Okay, remember looks up means to search for something. So he always searches for new words on the internet. Okay, next one. You shouldn't look down on other people. It's not very nice. So remember to look down means to look at somebody like they are a lesser person, like they do not deserve respect. So that's a negative comment, remember. Okay, and last one, look out. There's a cat in the middle of the road. So again, remember, look out means be careful or watch out, danger. There's a cat in the middle of the road. Okay, so that is the end of today's lesson. I hope that you were able to learn something using our new expressions with look. Thank you for joining me here in the classroom today.